uh, time or whatever. Um, yeah, exactly. That would be great. Yeah, because when you get a bunch of people in here, let's say it's eight on eight, by the time, you know, an entire team gets one team down to one person, if that one person manages to resurrect their whole team, I mean, you're talking about another five minute round right there. But that's well, a little bit yeah, but, uh, large just amounts so of people. You know, people. Um, uh, it works a little differently now. So, like, let's say, uh, the same scenario was happening where someone was resurrecting all of their team. Uh, the more people they resurrect successfully, the longer it's going to take to resurrect other people down the road. Um, so, like, oh. overall, it, it, it's going to get harder. So it's, it's just to uh, It has to be, right, it has to be a longer round before you really notice. Um, like, the base to, uh, re uh, right now, the base to resurrect somebody is five seconds, and that is, uh, customizable. You can set it to whatever. Um, well, let's say they have, you know, three or four people on their team, and they've had, like, ten successful resurrections. It could end up being, you know, ten seconds to resurrect the, the ne their next player. You know, like, uh, oh, it, it's nice. just, yeah. Uh, that, that it doesn't would, work so great that for would maybe smaller even, rounds. <laughs> that would that would probably eliminate the the time challenge then. Because if you have somebody that's sitting at a grave for an extended amount of time, yeah, it's changing every day. It gives the other team more of a chance to catch up to them. And then it makes death less uh, less wanted. Not that it was ever wanted in the first place, but, uh... Ha <laughs> ha! No, no, I, I, I totally get it. Uh, but to address, uh, Blue Devil's comment, yeah, unfortunately, the, the changes in resurrection times, uh, if nobody's able to resurrect anybody, it just kind of sticks to the default, um, uh, base time. And then it actually decreases. So like if no one gets resurrected, let's say the base was five, um, the the next person that dies, you know, it might be you know four and a half or so on and so forth. It's really more dependent on how many people get resurrected, and that increases the time. Essentially. Can I just interrupt and tell you that I fucking hate you? <laughs> Why is that, dude? <laughs> oh shit, I'm alive again. Oh shit. He is, I don't think he's being serious. Oh, oh no, I, I figured as much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, it's funny, uh, I, I've seen him online a lot on a scene, but uh, this is the first time in probably over a year that we've actually been on the same server at the same time. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. I, I haven't played in a long time. By the way, Bong, thanks for passing along that message to Gato for me. Oh, yeah, no problem, dude. Because, yeah, like, the, the website on my Google Chrome tab, when I actually hover over it, it says DDoS. That's some sketchy shit. Oh, yeah, no, he got hacked. Okay. Yeah, they, uh, that day when I confronted him about it, that's when he found out he had been hacked. And then, like, they had, the entire community was talking about it because everyone that was friends with him got that same uh, notification that you got. Oh, dude, so I'm anyone that so glad. Did have the same thing happen. I'm so glad I didn't fucking sign him through Steam on that shit. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, aiming at long distance for a gravestone with the eye voodoo, has that been improved at all? Uh, yeah, uh, it works very differently than how it worked in the, uh, the other the thing. The original? Um, yeah, so basically, as long as you stay aiming at it, it's going to, uh, continue showing you the, um, the, the laser and add progress. 
And also, the progress that you make while doing that also influences the progress of people that are, let's say, standing next to it. Um, the um, if you walk away or you know aim in some other direction, it will remove the the laser, and you won't be getting progress anymore. But uh, at that point, the grave itself will just you know decrement the progress. You know the same way it would if you were standing next to it. Well, you know how uh, like if you're aiming. Uh, how it just kind of weaves just a little bit? Uh, I mean, I guess the, the best way to know for sure if it works better is um, for us to just test it out. But like okay. from my perspective, it, it works better because I think there were instances where people would be aiming and resurrecting using that and then they would look away and then suddenly like the game would not know what the fuck was going on <laughs> and, and nobody could be resurrected at all and I was like well that's stupid <laughs> um, oh no like a, like on cradle for like I'm talking like really long distance or like damn uh well like there there is a limit to the distance that it shoots and oh okay because I was trying to be somewhat faithful um I did use the same limits but like, if you're on one of the arms of the cradle and you're trying to shoot completely across the map, it might not reach the target. Um, but I did okay, make the, the limits as to what you're aiming for, I did make them uh, match. So like, what's, what's being drawn matches what it's looking for. So hopefully awesome. that addresses the, the concern. Uh, we can always go to a map and, and try it out. You know, whatever you want. Yeah, I would love to. It's good to see you running a server again, Mr. E. Oh, uh, I'm not really running it. Uh, this is just something temporary to uh, test this out because I really wanted, uh, <laughs> I wanted to see what people thought. <laughs> um, uh, it, it, oh, you won't need to run a server long. again. The community's so small and everybody kind of you know, has a specific you know, yeah. couple places that they want to go to. So it, uh, I, I'll probably start one, you know, whenever we get close to the next release. Um, but like the temporary stuff, I'll just, I'll just turn on here and there for, you know, if people want to try things out. Like when we get closer to Halloween, I have some things I would like to try out with folks. But oh, we'll, we'll see what happens. It was the greatest thing ever, and you need to implement this, uh, uh EverQuest 2. I used to play the fuck out of that game. And there was this tapestry that if you walked by it, would cause a fucking scary-ass skeleton to just appear on your screen, dude. Just boom, right in your face. Oh, that'd be kind of funny, uh, on Halloween, just, you know, have, uh... <laughs> A plug in that just randomly pops something up on people's screens. <laughs> exactly, yes. Just some scary ass fucking like grudge two looking bitch just pops up in your face. <laughs> yeah, but it can't be often. It's gotta be like a special occasion. Like who has to do something to earn it? Halloween. But, uh, I mean. Oh, yeah. It's a perfect time, dude. Set up it uh, so only on Halloween it does it? Yeah, you just walk through a random doorway and boom, bitches in your face. Dude, I walked out of Grudge 2 in the theater. People were laughing at me. Oh, I'm just saying, you don't want it predictable. And you wouldn't want something no. popping on your screen too often. Not too often, yeah, but... Like one out of ten times, somebody walks through a certain doorway down a certain hallway. Boom! There it yeah. is. That way, like somebody can't be like, "Hey, this just happened to me," and then everyone else tries to do the same thing, and nothing happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can see Mister E doing stuff like that. It'd be.
Don't worry, uh, you're gonna release the, uh, the new one, uh, October 1st. The one you, uh, been working on with the new zombies? Oh, uh, right now the, the models are all, uh, like, placeholder, like, legit. They are the same models as the, uh, um, the original characters, it's just, uh, I modified the skins and made them separate models so that I can manage it separate from the game. Um, but like, it doesn't look that great, uh, I mean, it, in my head, it, uh, it, it does look somewhat zombified because you have, you know, blood splatter across their, uh, their costumes and, you know, maybe blood coming out of their eyes and... Is you know, it because it's like Half-Life 2, things. like, uh, looking? No, uh, I mean, uh, I spent a ridiculous amount of time just to make those bullshit models. <laughs> but, uh, uh, it was, it was a proof of concept, because, one, I'm definitely not an artist, and two, I wanted to see, hey, could I load these models dynamically as needed, and it, it works. Um, I just don't have the, uh, skill set to... Um, you know, make them pretty. So, uh, oh, I see the, what you're saying. The, the first step is to try and figure out how to make them look a little better. Um, and then uh, I plan on redoing the mode itself. Right now, just using the existing rules, um, but having it clean so it's easy to make changes if necessary. Um, and then my target is before Halloween so that people can have something that is, you know, somewhat Halloween themed. Uh, the Halloween yeah, Halloween. Yeah. Blender. Uh, so, like, uh, yeah, I'm using Blender. Um, so I figure, uh, maybe another, uh, two weekends of me messing around a bit. I should have something to play around with. Um, you know what you uh, really Shem need to do? I'm sorry to, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry to interrupt, but what you really need to do, bro, is big head mode. Oh my god! Oh. Yeah, oh my god. unfortunately, that, uh, right now is something that is not really attainable the way that everything works, like, in the game. Um, but I do get where you're, where you're coming from. Um, uh, I, I thought about it previously, but, um, everything is tied to the models of the players, so I'm not... Right now, I don't know a way to make it work, uh, and there's definitely not a way to make it work using the, uh, the current API. So, kind of like some of the miscellaneous things that I couldn't make work for this mode, uh, I had to make a source mod plugin to kind of fill in the blanks. But, uh, I can add to the list of things to play around with, because it would be kind of cool. Uh, one way that I could do it is, you know, blow up if the head just... and add it as a hat. Yeah. <laughs> We, if we had a mode where, I mean, it was the game mode, big head game mode, that would be awesome. Like, make the head gigantic, and then you can only die being shot in the head? Oh, yeah, that's what he's saying, Blue Devil, is uh, he can't make the heads big because he has to go off of the uh, character models that are already there. So he could possibly add like a hat as a feature you could add to your character, but he wouldn't be able okay, to so do it. Right. Big top hat. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, when I say hat, um, think about it like uh, you know one of the old Half-Life games. Like they couldn't make a thinking. train to to run through. So what they did was they had a non-playable character underneath the map, but added a hat to it <laughs> that wasn't. And it just ran around the, <laughs> the map <laughs> all the time. So, from the player's That's perspective, just... a train was running. Um, so, you know, it's like a workaround type of thing. That's just lazy coding on that the sources we have, man. No, dude. That's all they had back then, bro. That, that's true, that's true. I, I'm still drunk from last night, so I apologize if I'm getting started. <laughs> 
Dude, no, dude. I went up. I got a uh, pizza serious. Y'all remember pizza serious? <laughs> no idea what that is. Pizza serious. He played with us on on fucking Goldeneye for a long time. Oh, pizza? Yeah, pizza got stationed up here in Alaska, dude, and we were fucking. Uh, we actually been hanging out the last few weeks, dude. Yeah, and uh, he's military, so we got stationed up here, and last night we decided to uh, wrestle a combat-trained military person, and, okay, uh, I will tell him that, boss, but, uh, okay, so first wrestling match, he got me in a fucking arm bar and fucked my ass up. The second match, I got him in a good fucking headlock. Third Matt, he got me in a chokehold. It feels like I got fucking hate fucked by Ron Jeremy in my throat this morning, dude. <laughs> uh, it's it's more of a more of a hitbox issue when you're talking about the big head mode, if I'm not mistaken. How does the hitbox work in the old game? Uh... Was it always a headshot if you shot them in the big head? I'd have to... I don't even have my antics before anymore. Yeah, neither do I. So. Oh, Mr. E, what, uh... What's going to run the uh, new one? Or the possible new one? What do you mean? Uh, is it gonna be like Unreal Engine, or...? Oh, no, uh, unless I'm not aware of it, as far as I know, it'll still be, uh, Source. Oh, sweet, okay. When is Source 2 supposed to come out, or is it out? Like, I've heard rumors of Source 2. Uh, I don't know for certain, but, uh, I mean, as far as GoldenEye Source, uh, there it's, uh, the next version, unless something changes drastically, um, will still be the, the same engine that we're using now. Oh. That'll be nice, because at least it'll be something, uh, the majority of fans are familiar with. Fucking ball. So, <laughs> quick question from the folks that are playing: Has anybody gotten stuck yet? Like, they get resurrected and they can't move. No, no. If I had an issue, I'd have said something. All right, cool. Because uh, before uh, the other day, uh, I was having a problem, and uh, in one instance, it's not stuck, and then it was stuck in another. So this morning, I messed around and. I got to here and it, I couldn't get it to not work, so I wanted to make sure everybody else was having the same experience. I hope you die, motherfucker. No. Come on, slap with me, slap with me. Let me get to my slapper, then we No. GG. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, what? Coming up? Uh, Time Splitters Rewind mod. I heard that in English. Time Splitters, uh... We rewind. Rewind mod. The hell is that? I was thinking about for a long time. That wasn't, uh... I never played Time Splitters, so... Oh, it's really, it's like a spiritual successor to the type of games. Gotcha. Uh, pretty Wait, much the same. Uh, the original was the same development team. They went and formed their own company, and they made Time Splitters one, two, and three. Now was Time Splitters that one with the dude who had the goggles and had like a fucking animal yeah, friend yeah, or yeah. some shit? Yeah, monkey, yeah, I think. I vaguely remember that. Vaguely. <laughs> I just have a few select games I play on a regular. I don't plan on getting into any of the new stuff, because most of it just breaks my heart. Do you have Gary's Mod Bond? Yeah, I do. I've played, uh, 
How what's that mode you really enjoy? Where you hide this trash or prop hunt. Prop, prop hunt, hunt, yeah. I'm not yeah, into yeah. prop hunt. Oh, you can go by yourself. <laughs> That's just not my cup of tea. <laughs> I had fun doing it though. game since it came out, but I saw a YouTube video of fucking, uh, your narrator and, uh, uh what, Molly and them playing proper, and I thought it was fucking cool. <laughs> oh, I forgot you, I forgot you can't right click to double shot. It's been so long since I played this shit. <laughs>